Many in Taiwan were shaken awake in the wee hours of Wednesday after a magnitude 6.6 earthquake struck off the coast of Hualien. The quake was felt throughout the island and it was followed by more than 50 perceptible aftershocks within seven hours. Seismologists at the Central Weather Bureau say aftershocks of magnitude 4 and above can be expected over the coming week, particularly in the East Rift Valley. Early in the morning of Wednesday, a 6.6 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of Hualien County, waking up many across Taiwan as it rattled their homes. At this restaurant, the earthquake knocked beer and other drinks from their racks, sending glass splintering across the floor. The quake made an impact here, too, at this gravel quarry, where two storage tanks and their conveyor belts all but collapsed. An electrical generator and distribution box were also crushed, making for a sorry sight. Near Hualien's Uli Hospital, an expansion project for a bridge came crashing down. The viaduct project's steel beams were installed just last week. No casualties have been reported in connection to the collapse. Authorities have closed the bridge to traffic to allow repairs. We had just finished hanging the beams. At that point, the project was at its most unstable, at its most unsafe. Over the next couple of days, we will be urgently deploying safety equipment. According to the Suhua Improvement Engineering Office, as many as 28 pre-stressed beams had snapped and collapsed. Each beam will cost 1.5 million NT to repair, plus additional costs for debris removal and other engineering needs. All told, the incident will cost nearly 50 million NT. Wednesday's 6.6 magnitude earthquake was followed by a string of aftershocks. More than 50 tumblers of magnitude 3.7 or greater were recorded within seven hours. We're only talking about tremors of magnitude 3.7 or above. Factoring in aftershocks of magnitude 3.6 and below, we're talking more than 150. This earthquake had released a tremendous amount of energy. We wouldn't be surprised to see a medium-sized aftershock one full year later after this initial earthquake. The Central Weather Bureau said the earthquake was caused by a slip between the Eurasian Plate and the Philippine Sea Plate. The quake was felt most strongly in Taidong County's Changbing Township, where it reached a lower six on Taiwan's seven-tier intensity scale. We started seeing more frequent earthquakes last year, and that will likely continue through this year, not only in Taiwan, but across the world. It is possible that we've entered an active seismic period. The CWB says Taiwan may have reached a period of greater earthquake activity, but one scholar disagrees. There are so many active faults, about 30 to 40 active faults. They have a high frequency of earthquakes, which may appear to be more concentrated at a particular time. I personally do not believe that necessarily means we're in an active seismic period. Experts warn of aftershocks of magnitude 4 and above over the coming week, particularly in the East Rift Valley.